Hi guys, welcome to video number 9, the Boogie Boy 36 Beginner Guitar Course. In this video, I'm going to be answering the question, do you need to learn bar chords? And later in the video, I'm also going to be teaching you 4 bar chord shapes that will unlock all the chords in your chromatic scale. So it's just 4 shapes, but you can drive that up and down and that will allow you to play all the chords. Okay, So stick around for that. Now, Bar chords can be really frustrating, um, they're painful and they're a bit difficult for beginners to learn. And you're also going to notice that most bar chords have non-bar alternatives. So let's take the F chord for example, and we talked about this a few videos ago. The F chord is normally played with a bar, but we can also play it without a bar. Later on you're going to learn the B chord, which also has a bar but you'll find out you can also play it without a bar. And another common chord is the B minor chord, which has a really easy alternative. It doesn't use a bar at all. Another example would be the C sharp minor, which again can be played without a bar. And if you need to play chords such as like uh, the G sharp, for example, you can always get a capo, put it in the first fret, play your regular open G chord and that is a G sharp chord and depending on what you need you can just move your capo up and down so that brings the question do you really need to learn is it really necessary to learn bar chords if you have all these different alternatives and you have the capo and the answer to that is it depends on what you want to achieve if all you want to do is to quickly learn songs quickly learn chords and just uh, jam along with your friends or serenade someone or maybe do like a bonfire gig then you can do away without learning bar chords but if you want to take your guitar playing seriously if you want to excel at playing the guitar then you will eventually have to learn bar chords because not learning bar chords is like putting a limit on your guitar playing okay so if you really want to take it seriously then yes you need to learn bar chords now let's talk a little bit about the benefits of what you get from learning how to play bar chords. Before that, I want to thank our sponsor Skillshare for sponsoring this video. As I've mentioned in videos before, Skillshare is an online learning platform with thousands of premium quality video courses on almost any topic you can think of. So if you're into anything music related, um, art related, graphics related, and so much more, Skillshare has dozens of videos on those and they're rolling out new videos all the time so you won't ever run out of high quality courses to watch. And speaking of bar chords, I recommend a video course on Skillshare. It's called Guitar Bar Chords Simplified. And in that course, the teacher does exactly that. He simplifies bar chords so you know the fundamentals of bar chords which will help you to learn all the different possibilities on your own. And he also has different practice exercises to help you improve the sound of your bar chords. So if you're interested in that, you can head over to Skillshare right now by clicking my link in the description below because the first 1,000 people who click that link will actually get a free 30-day trial of Skillshare. So that's everything Skillshare has to offer, 30 days completely free. So check it out right now and thank you again Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Okay, so now what do you get from learning bar chords? Uh, for one thing, a, a really big reason is that there are four main chord shapes that you can learn and that's going to unlock your entire fretboard. So you're going to learn all the chords in the chromatic scale or the musical alphabet just with those four chord shapes. Okay, so uh, let's do one example now and I'll talk more about these shapes later on. So we take the F chord for example. We can use this same shape just move it up one, that's your F sharp chord. Move it up one, that's your G chord. Up one, G sharp, up one, A, A sharp, and it goes all the way up following, again, the chromatic scale or the musical alphabet. Um, I'll leave it down here. This is something that you should definitely learn. You should memorize this because everything music related, it, it all relates to this scale. So it's basically the alphabet. A to G with sharps in between except for E and D. So only E and D don't have sharps. Okay, so memorize that. It's going to be really important moving on if you learn guitar or any other music instrument. Another example will be the um, E minor. Okay, we just move it up, it becomes the F minor. 
move it up, F sharp minor, G minor, G sharp minor, and it goes all the way up. So as you can see with just those two shapes, you already know all the chords in the chromatic scale just by moving up the fretboard. Okay? So that's one really big benefit to learning bar chords. So you don't have to learn all these different uh, shapes. It's just one shape or two shapes and you just go up and that's already all the chords in the chromatic scale. Another benefit to learning bar chords is that you're not limiting your guitar playing. Don't put a cap on your guitar skills. Learn bar chords. It's going to be a little challenging but once you learn it, you're really going to unlock your fretboard. You're going to help yourself really excel as a guitar player. Alright, so now let's learn the four bar chord shapes that's going to help you play all the chords in your chromatic scale. It's going to unlock your entire fretboard. So these are actually based on chords we've already learned in the past videos. Uh, the first one is an E major bar chord. So this is our E major chord here. Okay, we learned this. Now instead of playing with our first three fingers, we're going to be using our last three fingers so that our first finger is free to bar, okay? So this is our E, we move this up and we place a bar and that becomes our F. Now this shape, if we just keep moving up on the fretboard, that's going to keep changing chords. So move it up again, F sharp, move it up, G, move it up, G sharp, and so on, okay? So those are E major, bar chord shape. Now let's learn the E minor bar chord shape. So we learned that the E minor is like this, but instead of using our second and third fingers, we use our third and fourth fingers to press down on those two strings. Then we slide it up one and we take our free first finger, bar it down here, and that becomes an F minor, okay? Slide it up. F sharp minor, add it up, G minor, up, G sharp minor, and it goes all the way up. Okay, our next one is the A major bar chord shape. So we learned how to play the A major chord like this, but instead of using our first three fingers, we use our last three fingers. Then we slide it up and we place the bar becomes our A sharp, slide it up again, place a bar, becomes our B, slide it up, place a bar, becomes our C, and so on, okay? And the last chord shape will be the A minor bar chord shape. So we learn how to play the A minor like this, but now instead of using our first three fingers, we use our last three fingers, so let's play it this way, move it up, place a bar, that becomes our A sharp minor chord. Move it up. This becomes our B minor chord. Again, C minor chord, C sharp minor chord, D minor chord, and all the way up. With just those four bar chord shapes, we can already play all the way up on our fretboard, and we can already play all the chords in the chromatic scale or the musical alphabet. So you should definitely learn those four chord shapes. And if you're having trouble barring down, I have a video with some tips on how to improve your bar chords. I'll leave it maybe in the info card somewhere there or one of the suggested videos here. So that was it for this video. Um, I hope you learned something. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when a new video comes out because we're publishing these course videos every week. And if you want to check out the other videos in this course, head over to the description below because I have a link to the course playlist. And lastly, I want to thank Skillshare again for sponsoring this video. That's it. I'll see you guys in the next one.